I heard the wind get real crazy for a second. It was a split second. A Saturday afternoon of skateboarding turned scary. Right when we first got here, it was fine out. Um, there was no rain or anything, and then it started sprinkling, and then the rain came out of nowhere. And then the tornado siren. Zach Boggs and his friends were just feet away from the Vermilion City Service Center on Devon Drive and saw the damage to the building immediately. We thought someone had crashed the door. I'm told that all the garage doors for this building were closed at the time the weather came through, but look at this one now. Well, there's three or four doors that have been blown in and they'll have to be replaced and the roof is off on the back of the building and on the side of the building and there's debris all over and water. Mayor Eileen Bulin got the call at home. It didn't even look like a storm was going on, but the siren did go off for the tornado and then I got a phone call that our service center was hit with the tornado. The National Weather Service tells Fox 8 this was possibly a cold air funnel. They are described as very weak, rarely cause damage and are brief. I'm very surprised because there's no damage anywhere else in the whole town that we're aware of. This is the only spot that got hit. And that means a setback for the building which houses vehicles for the streets department. Parks and Recreation also runs out of here, but the good news though, thankfully no one was hurt. Crazy that we were just sitting here and sitting right through it. It's just kind of mind blowing that we were literally 20 feet away. Allison Brown, Fox 8 News.